Why don't you remember the future? Why does time flow from the past to the future? Why does it seem like there's an arrow of time pushing us inexorably forward? Today, we'll explore these questions and see how concepts like entropy play a crucial role in our perception of time. First, let's think about how we experience time. Time is a fundamental aspect of our reality. We experience it in a linear fashion, from past to present to future. But why is this the case? Why can we remember the past but not the future? The answer lies in the concept of entropy, which is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. According to the second law of thermodynamics, in an isolated system, entropy tends to increase over time. This is a key idea because it gives time a direction what we call the arrow of time. Imagine a box divided into two halves, one filled with gas molecules and the other empty. If we remove the barrier, the gas molecules will spread out evenly throughout the box. Initially, the system was in a state of low entropy, high order, but over time, it moved towards a state of higher entropy, more disorder. This movement towards disorder is what gives us the sense of time flowing from past to future. Entropy also explains why we remember the past but not the future. Our brains are highly ordered systems, and the process of forming memories involves creating more order reducing entropy locally at the expense of increasing it elsewhere. We can store information about the past because it's a low entropy state we once experienced. The future, however, is a high entropy state that hasn't occurred yet, and thus we can't form memories of it. But why does entropy increase in the first place? One explanation is the initial conditions of the universe. The Big Bang, the event that gave birth to our universe, started in a state of extremely low entropy. Ever since then, the entropy of the universe has been increasing, driving the arrow of time forward. The increase in entropy also explains the irreversible nature of certain processes. For example, when you drop a glass and it shatters, the entropy of the system increases. The shattered pieces represent a more disordered state than the intact glass. This process is irreversible because it's highly improbable for the glass to reassemble itself spontaneously. Time's arrow is deeply connected to our everyday experiences. Think about aging, we grow older because biological processes follow the laws of thermodynamics. Our bodies become more disordered over time, which is another manifestation of increasing entropy. Additionally, time's arrow is evident in the macroscopic world. We see it in natural processes like the melting of ice, the mixing of different substances, and the diffusion of gases. All these processes move from states of lower entropy to states of higher entropy, reinforcing the direction of time. Interestingly, in the microscopic world, the laws of physics are time-symmetric. That means the fundamental interactions of particles don't prefer a direction of time. This symmetry is broken when we consider large numbers of particles and the increase in entropy. It's the statistical behavior of many particles that gives rise to the arrow of time we observe. Some physicists suggest that if we could somehow lower the entropy of a system, we might experience time differently. However, this remains a speculative idea and isn't feasible with our current understanding and technology. In conclusion, the reason you don't remember the future and why time flows from the past to the future is deeply tied to the concept of entropy. The increase in entropy, driven by the initial low entropy state of the universe, gives time its direction. While time's arrow might seem like an inescapable part of our reality, it's fascinating to consider how it emerges from the fundamental laws of physics and the statistical behavior of particles. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and entropy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning the nature of our universe.